Hey y'all, today we're making ginger tea and I've got a life hack for you. We'll use fresh ginger, lemons, and local honey. I like raw and unfiltered myself. And here's one of my favorite life hacks, freezing the leftovers in an ice cube tray. That way you don't have to make a fresh batch every time you want some tea. Let's get started on how you make it. I've already peeled the ginger and I'm gonna use a very fine grater to just grate as much as I feel like I need. You can also cut it into chunks if you feel that's easier. After I finish grating the ginger, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the giant chunk in the pot when I boil it. I'm working with about seven inches of ginger because I'm gonna make it very concentrated since we're freezing the leftovers. Once I'm ready to use the ice cubes, I'll dilute it with boiling water. I cut my lemons in half and then I turn them around and cut the ends off. That way I can get all of the juice out of each side. What I love about this tea is the lemon and ginger together pack vitamin C, antioxidants, and fiber that can help with inflammation, nausea, and digestion. And honey is a natural cough suppressant. I've juiced both lemons and shredded all my ginger. Don't worry about the big chunks because we'll strain everything at the end. Now it's time to add our water. I usually just eyeball it, but we're adding six cups today. Put it on the stove and boil for 10 to 12 minutes. Now that everything has finished boiling, we're gonna go ahead and pull out our giant chunks of ginger. Maybe one day I'll go out and actually buy a normal size strainer, but for today, I'm just gonna use this. I just work with what I've got. If you like your ginger tea really strong, you can go ahead and skip this step, but it's already pretty strong as it is. Squeeze as much out as you can because you don't want to let any of this liquid gold go to waste. My ice cubes are 2 ounces each, so this yielded maybe 30 to 34 ounces. Once the tray is frozen, I'll pop them out and put them in a Ziploc bag to keep in the freezer while I repeat the process with the leftovers. I love sipping my tea in this mug because things will always work out. I hope you enjoyed cooking with cariño.